What's up everyone, my name is Nick and I'm in Barcelona all the way in Spain. It took about 30 hours to get here together with my beautiful wife and my amazing little boy Milo. It was a tough <laughs> route to get here but we're here. It's our first day in Barcelona and I'm gonna show you the best sites in Barcelona together with uh, my parents who are here as well. So this is a Dutch Malaysian family in Spain, in Barcelona. And look at this, we've got the Sagrada Familia right here. All right, let's get this video started. This is Global Given. Perhaps one of the most famous buildings in all the world, Sagrada Familia, was built originally by Mr. Gaudi, who is one of the world's most famous architects. This church is never finished. Will it ever finish? We don't know. They're still building this church, even after about a hundred years, I think. It is an amazing looking church. But of course, the moment we arrive at this amazing piece of architecture, the man's asleep. <laughs> So even though it is the middle of September, which is past the peak season, the tourism season here in Barcelona, but as you can see, it is incredibly busy here. There are thousands and thousands of people and it looks kind of full, but I guess during July and August, it would be even more busy. What? So they started building this La Sagrada Familia in 1882, if I'm correct. That means they've been building this structure for over 140 years they've been building this. Some bits are really old, like this part, this part here, as you can see, it's a lot newer and it's so detailed. There's so much to see. There's, oh, it's insane how detailed every little corner and every little bit is of this amazing piece of architecture. I guess it is time for una cerveza and some beer. Barcelona is a huge city. There are so many buildings. People have been living here for hundreds, yes, hundreds of years. And all these buildings, they look like they're very tall, but they all have these different designs, they're different balconies. It's a beautiful city. I love it here. You can walk everywhere to La Sagrada Familia and then walk to one of the palaces, maybe check out the port with ridiculous yachts and you stop here have a drink have a snack that's what you do in Barcelona so yeah got my parents here they picked us up at the airport and now we're all here in Barcelona so yes we've got the whole family together we've got little Milo here who was a trooper on the plane even though it was quite tough and it was very long 30 hours on the plane but you did good right yes we did good and now we're in Barcelona hmm you were here in Barcelona, so cool. My wife's here, man, got my dad right there. And of course, my mom is here as well. The architecture here in Barcelona is insane. Like I said, the, the buildings look alike, but they don't. There's so many buildings, so tall, five, six stories high. They're all apartments, they all got these cool balconies and uh, another beautiful one here. Whoa, look at that, up there. Amazing. And as you're walking down the street, you gotta keep your eyes open because there's always a door somewhere with a beautiful lady that you can walk into. Let's check, let's check this out. Alright, 
we have now arrived at perhaps the most famous boulevard or street here in Barcelona, the Ramblas. And it's a pedestrian street. Well, there's, there's uh, cars can drive on the side there, but it is busy. It's so busy. It's just a random Monday. It's no holiday, nothing. Again, beautiful buildings, little terraces. It's just so nice to walk here. I guess it's time for ice cream. From the Ramblas, we're off to the next location, which is definitely one of the must visits here in Barcelona, and that is La Boca Ria. The market with meats and meats and cheese, I think. That's that's all you need, that's all they sell. I see hams, I see sausages, but it's right there. Let's go, check it out. We've always wanted to try uh, sea urchins, so here we go. <laughs> I think there's some lemon in. She squeezed some lemon in, the, uh, the fish lady. And uh, it's not gross. <laughs> it's sorry, it tastes like the sea. <laughs> All right, it's the second day here in Barcelona, and today we've decided to take the bus. Yes, we're gonna be proper tourists and take the hop on, hop off bus, and you're coming along with us. Let's go explore Barcelona. Let's explore. So yesterday we spent the day walking around Barcelona, and we walked quite far. We did about 10 kilometers, and we saw a lot. It was a wonderful day, but today. We want to explore the city with the very nice touristic uh, hop on and hop off bus. And this way we can see a little bit more and be more relaxed. <laughs> So even though there's only about 1.6 million, well, it's already quite a lot of people, 1.6 million people living here, I estimate that there are at least 1.6 million tourists here every day as well. That's probably during low season and peak season, maybe even more. Yes, Barcelona is one of the most popular cities to visit in the whole world. Now, if you're a football lover, we are just about to pass the FC Barcelona Stadium. Perhaps one of the most famous football clubs in the whole world. Barcelona! Yep, there it is, Camp Now, FC Barcelona. All right, as it was a hop on, hop off bus, it was time to hop off and uh, stretch our legs. Milo had been sleeping the whole journey, which was great, but uh, we're right here somewhere in Barcelona. Um, and there is a very nice building designed by Gaudi here. Um, so we're gonna explore some more, right little man? All right, let's explore some more. So this beautiful building here, La Perdrera, is a building designed by Antoni Gaudi in 1906. And it took about six years to build and it looks pretty cool. Look at those balconies. If I hadn't mentioned it before, Barcelona is defined by Antoni, Antoni Gaudi, who was one of the world's most famous architects and he thought outside of the box. All his buildings got curves, as you can see behind me. He built, or he designed, La Sagrada Familia, perhaps the most famous church in the world, and so many more places. There's a beautiful park here as well, where we're going, which is uh, Park Güell, and there's so much more to see. His architecture is really, really unique. Woo, belly full, and uh, we're off walking. Again, this time before hopping on the bus, and uh, we're off to Casa Batlo. Casa Batlo, another famous building built and designed, mainly designed by the architect Antoni Gaudi. We're on the rich street again. We got Louis Vuitton here, and uh, 
I guess all these people have a lot of money. Or maybe they're just looking uh, window shopping. <laughs> That's a big line for a shop. Louis Vuitton. All right, we're here, Casa Baclo. So after Sagrada Familia and Park Güell, this is possibly the top three most famous buildings designed by Gaudi. It looks very, very unique. So we just bought Meg a bag, because uh, I broke her bag on the plane. And uh, these guys are not allowed to sell here. So they put it all on these beautiful pieces of cloth with strings. So when the police comes, they just pull it up and they run away. You always see them here. <laughs> all right, I guess it's time to hop back on the hop-on, hop-off bus and we're off to Park Güell. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón. All right, we got out of the bus and then apparently had to walk all the way up these stairs and it's great with a stroller, but uh, we made it. We are here at our last destination for today, probably. This is the famous Park Güell also designed by Mr. Gaudi. Let's go check it out. Whew. All right, we are officially in Park Güell. It was uh, 10 euros per adult, it's all right. It's uh, probably one of the nicest parks you can ever visit in uh, Spain or even Europe. Y la casa de la bachata. Here we are, the main square, overlooking Barcelona once again at Park Güell. All right, so that was Park Güell. It is again very busy here and I must say it's a beautiful park. So if you're in Barcelona, definitely go to Park Güell. La Sagrada Familia was amazing and it's just so nice just to walk through the city and if you have time go and take that hop on hop off bus because we had a lot of fun. So this is the end of the video. Uh, Milo is having his milk. Thank you for watching. We hope you liked it. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel and uh, see you again next week. Bye bye. <laughs> Adios. Adiós.